Good day po sa inyong lahat. Magandang araw po. At nandito po ako ngayon. Balik na po ako sa aking tahanan dito sa Qatar. And finally po yesterday, I was discharged. That was October 5, 2020. And uh, ako po ay COVID-19 free na po as per the assessment of all the doctors and the tests conducted for me before I left the isolation facility. So, maraming maraming salamat po. I just want to say, I'm making this video, this current video, kasi gusto ko pong mag-express ng taus-pusong pasasalamat ko sa inyong lahat, sa lahat ng mga prayers niyo na in-offer for my fast recovery. And because of those prayers po, ay talaga namang dininig po ng Panginoon ng ating mga panalangin. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I would like to take this opportunity po to glorify the Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the sole reason for our existence in this world. Thank you, dear Father Jesus Christ in heaven, for the gift of healing. And for all those who are still suffering from COVID-19 and all other diseases known to men, let us all continue to pray po para sa kanilang kagalingan as soon as possible in God's perfect healing time. They will all be healed. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. So, today po ay September 23, 2020. My first day dito sa isolation facility kung saan ako dinala kahapon after learning that I am positive for COVID-19. So, kanina pa ko actually Gising. I had my breakfast at 7.30 and then just had my lunch at around 12.45. So now I'm just about to take a little nap kasi dapat lang magpahinga tayo para ma-regain natin yung ating um, tamang pag-function ng ating immune system as much as possible. So we need a lot of rest, a lot of healthy food, vitamin C, exercise as much as possible which is unhealthy kasi tamad po ako ng exercise so medyo ano ako dyan weak ako when it comes to the fitness lifestyle pero I'm doing everything compensating somehow with eating the right food here that they provide kasi we provide naman sila ng mga healthy food dito to boost our immune system which is yun talaga yung panlaban natin for any disease especially yung COVID na to kasi wala pa naman pong gamot so it's just to boost our the natural defense of our body which is our immune system so this is my fourth or fifth day here in the isolation center mukhang lalaki na ako rin wala ako mga sopa ko <clears throat> but now it's lunch time once again and um, so far I don't feel any undesirable um, symptoms of COVID. I don't have any cough. I don't have any fever, I believe. My temperature is normal as I feel it. And I don't have body pains also. Sometimes I have a slight headache, but it's not so much. It's tolerable. It's kind of normal. Even if I have COVID, I usually have this uh, episode of headaches and migraines, but it's quite normal for me. And now I'm about to take my lunch, so thank you everyone. This is my fifth day here in the isolation facility. God bless you all. Thank you for still including me in your prayers. That means a lot to me. That's the most important thing I need right now, prayers. And I love you all and I hope to see you soon. God bless you everyone. Please take care of yourselves. Good day everyone. Magandang araw po sa inyo. Mandihan mo here at nandito po ako ngayon sa aking pang-anim na araw sa isolation center. At nagpapasalamat po ako sa inyong lahat, sa lahat ng mga dasal na inyong patuloy na dinutulong sa ating mahal na Panginoon kasi ito lang po ang pinaka-mabisang bagay, mabisang weapon against this disease. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pag-alala at patuloy na pagdarasal sa aking fast recovery. 
ito po ay talagang na-appreciate ko at ako ay blessed to have people, to have prayer warriors with me, praying for my fast recovery at sa recovery din ng lahat ng mga may tinaganas na kasakit na kagaya ng COVID-19 at iba pang mga karamdaman sa ating katawan. Please continue praying for me po and sa lahat po sa inyo, mag-ingat po kayo. Take good care of yourselves. Mag-observe po kayo ng lahat ng precautionary measures na tayo ay hindi mahawaan at hindi makahawa ng sakit na to kasi hindi po natin alam kung sino meron ng virus na to. So, mag-ingat po tayo if we don't feel well, kung hindi po masama, maganda yung ating nararamdaman na feeling po natin something is wrong na meron sakit tayo. Meron tayong fever, meron tayong body weakness or anything else may ubo tayo na mga signs and symptoms ng COVID. Magpacheck na po tayo kaagad. Don't take that uh, second thought na mag-iisip tayo na simple lang itong lagnat na to. Make sure po na magpacheck tayo agad para malaman kung ano yung talagang totoo. Um, let's all be responsible po na sa pagkikipagalubino sa kapwa natin kasi proteksyonan po natin yung sarili natin para maproteksyonan din yung ating kapwa. It doesn't matter if they are our loved ones or family member. Yung kapwa tao po natin, let's all, it's about time for us to protect each other para hindi na po yung maganap at kumalat pa ang sakit na ito na hanggang ngayon ay wala pa rin pong gamot na talagang concrete na nilalabas. Pero let's continue to pray to God that this soon will be over because siya lang po ang makapangyarihan sa lahat who will take this virus away. So, mahirap po yung sakit na to kasi mag-isa lang po kami dito sa isolation center. Kasama ko lang po yung mga kapwa ko may COVID-19 din kasi hindi kami pwedeng makihalubilo sa ibang mga tao. Um, yung pagkain po nilalapag lang doon sa common area tapos kukunin na lang po namin when it's time to eat hindi po siya kagaya ng ibang sakit na pwede kayong bisitahin ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay all your significant others kamustahin at bigyan ng lakas ng loob kasi hindi po kami pwedeng lapitan hindi po pwede yung close contact kasi at risk po yung makakaharap ninyo knowing that we are positive on the virus nakakalungkot po because we have to stay in isolation pero ganun po talaga ang sakit na to ganun siya ka ganun siya ka lethal ganun siya ka traitor so magingat po tayo let's be responsible enough human beings na magingat na hindi na kumalat ang sakit na to kasi yung pagiging irresponsible po natin sa ating katawan na alam na naman natin na may nararamdaman tayong hindi maganda but still We are in close contact with other people. Isa po itong sign ng inhumane na character na hindi dapat magpatuloy kasi it's about time for all of us na proteksyonan natin ang ating mga sarili. Hindi lamang kasi kapamilya natin or mahal natin sa buhay but because of sa lahat ng tao na nakakasalamuhan natin. This is my 13th day in isolation facility and this is my second to the last night here and tomorrow is the end of the quarter days quarantine as mandated by the Ministry of Health here in Qatar and hopefully I will be able to go home tomorrow and the next test will be negative. Thank you everyone for all your prayers in the last 14 days of one of the most challenging phase of my life and especially my state of health. Without all your prayers, I wouldn't be able to go this far having the courage and the strength of spirit to be able to sustain and believe in the mighty power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So thank you. Marami salamat po sa lahat ng inyong mga team na dasal for my recovery. And nandito na nga po tayo malapit na sa finish time tomorrow ay huling araw ko na dito sa isolation. Marami salamat lang po sa lahat ng dasal ninyo. Ito po ang nagbigay sa akin ng lakas all throughout this 14 days of isolation or deal. And more, more than anything else, I would like to 
say thank you to our mighty Savior Jesus Christ for the unending love and power of healing that He has always given me and given all of us out there who are suffering from any kinds of illness known to them, especially the virus later. We continue to pray for all of those people who are still in pain, who are still suffering, that sooner, at the soonest possible time in God's perfect time, they too will be here. I love you everyone. God bless you all. At maraming salamat po. To God be the highest glory. I love you Jesus. So today is Monday, October 5, 2020. It's supposed to be my last day here as an isolation facility. And I'm taking my last and final breakfast in this place. This my final breakfast and hopefully later on in the day I will be discharged already from the 14 days of And thank you once again for all your meaningful, sincere and powerful prayers which has healed me in every sense of the word, healing. I became closer to God during my 14 days here, something that I have kind of neglected from before. I became more powerful, more prayerful rather. I became more prayerful and I have somehow removed my connection to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that this will signal the beginning of more faithful servanthood with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ once I go out back in the normal world and day-to-day -day life. I hope that I will forever carry it with me every minute of the day. Only do what Jesus Christ, what the Lord wants me to do, and only think what the Lord wants me to think every single minute of every day. So thank you for everyone who's in your mga dasal. Maraming salamat po. God bless you everyone. I'll see you soon. Hello po. Today is my last day dito sa isolation facility. Today is October 5, 2020. And I already received a call earlier na for discharge na ako today. So thank God finally I'm going back to the house where I live in and thank you Lord and sa lahat ng mga prayers ninyo which made me healed through the grace ng ating mahal na Panginoon Jesus Christ so I'm just waiting for another call kung susunduin na kami then I'm going out of here so God bless everyone. I see you around. See you outside. Ingat po kayo palagi and maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng inyong thank team na dasal for my fast recovery and talaga nga naman napakabuti ng Panginoon. All glory I lift up to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father for, the, for healing me from this uh, sickness. And we continue to pray. Please continue to pray po sa lahat ng mga tao na nakaranas pa ng sakit na ito na COVID-19 and all the other diseases na meron sila. Let's all continue to pray for them po that in God's grace and mighty and divine uh, intervention, sila po din po ay gagaling as soon as possible. So thank you very much po. I'll see you. God bless everyone. Thank you, Paul. Could you be healing to a heart that's been wounded in a battle that's never seen? Mind of confusion, to 
Tell me what does this all mean? Are you the deliverer of an imprisoned feeling in chains? Can you set my spirit free? Could you be father to a soul that's been abandoned by a world to be seated? Could you be friend to a helpless survivor? Can you take away my fears? I have the most share. Thank you.